All right, going hand handled on this. So a little bit different because it came in this box and then Kit double packed it in another box with foam and packing corners. So got to really hand them. Thanks again to OSK for this, but now when you open, here you've got your Fishbone Morpheus, which is looking dope. And then, take this off and there you have your chair and a table. Now I actually um, added this sponge before the, before I started the shoot to, to hold this in place, but I would pull that off. We've got this cool table that is die cast. It's actually very heavy. And actually, maybe it was supposed to go in this way. And then you've got your chair. Just also right here, looks like the feet came off. That's not a big deal. We can fix it easily. But oh, it's very heavy. This is wood. So, all right. Let's take a look at everything else. All right, hefty box. All right, so we have his coat that. Well, okay. It looks very good. It it looks really really good. Unfortunately for the price point, this feels like the kind of material that will flake, and that is a bummer. Uh, I think the Wonder World PR set. That one was real leather, so I'm gonna have to order a separate coat in the future. Okay, is this with fishbone die cast gun. Another die cast gun. Die cast katana, but it is in a sheath that is really crappy plastic, so it's hard to remove, but... There you go. Here's your red pill and blue pill casing and glass. Cool. Here is sunglasses though. It says here, glasses glue can perfectly fit in your face, but I'm not sure what to do. I'll figure it out. Hands, this is. Uh, these are shit quality hands. But that's fine. Ooh, get a bunch of these. Sculpt and paint's very good for fishbone. I mean, the likeness is there. This is very well done. Uh, it's, it's usual though. Fishbone's bodies are shite. Yeah, the same problem with the fishbone neo that I own. The body sucks. Oh, these are buttons, I don't like that. It's fine, I'm not even gonna bother with the 
legs because this body is... You are not doing much posing with this. Unless you swap the body out. Be very careful you don't rip the pants. It's a shit body. It is a shit body. Put that back. Alright. So, okay. The lightness is there, so we should be able to do some cool posing once we put the coat on. So, let's take a look. Alright. Shit body, but magnetic shoes. And Mac base. Now, this I can get behind. I have to figure out where the magnet is the strongest, but Mac base, that is fucking cool. I've always wanted these. I hope this has become more standard. Alright, let's look at this real quick. Uh, there are a couple of pros and cons. So, the first thing I want to discuss is pro. The Mac base, that is awesome. I hope this be these come from customizers and they trickle down. And I hope these become commonplace because it looks so good on the Mac base. It's just how you want to display a figure now. You, if you don't like the Matrix logo, you can simply turn it around and take your figure. Just swap them in the magnet. Looks good. Now, let's see. The body overall looks like it's a little too small, like too thin now. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne is kind of a stocky, bulky guy, but you can hide under the coat. Portrait is pretty good. Um, again, I think once you hide under the coat, it'll look a little bit better. Right now, he looks a little too thin. Um, this sword. This thing is almost the scabbard is shite. It's almost impossible to get back in the sword. It's, I'm probably just not even gonna bother and just leave it in the box. Now, these guns, all the die casts, here's the problem. They're always almost too heavy and it's gonna be impossible to carry, so we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But yeah. And then on the back, this, uh, see, this is actually a little piece of like glue type material. You're not gonna get the strap in, it's too thick for that little buckle. So I gotta strap that back and then put the coat over it. All right, let's move on. All right, so he's kitted up and you know what? When you put the coat on, it looks a lot better. Um, the glasses are not like glue glue, they're just like a little bit of like sticky putty, which is the same that's on the back of the vest. So he just pops it on the eyes and it's fine. Um, I think the lightness is very well done, especially for the price point. And I love the magnetic base and I'm so glad that this is trickling down to third party from customizers through the supply chain. So um, the good news is, okay, the body is shite, but if you're doing a museum pose like this, you're fine. And the body actually can handle the weight of the die cast gun this time, unlike the Neo one where it's falling all over. And you're not gonna do much with the sword, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Alright, guys, separately, the freaking chair and table are alone are worth the price of admission. You know why? Because this chair painted so very well, yeah. Solid freaking wood, like solid wood, and these uh, these metal thing here. This is metal, so extremely well crafted. And this table, die cast, metal die cast. You got your glove, your cup, and then you got your red pill, blue pill, which is a little bit hard to see, but there you go. Insane, really awesome to add to the diorama. All right, getting him to sit in the chair was a real pain in the pitch. So as far as like composition goes, you really just want to frame it this way. 
up and I wanted him kind of doing this pose with his hands. I probably need to fuss this jacket a little bit more, but you get the idea. Um, I thought I was going to leave these accessories in the box, but this really brings some pop to the table, so I think they're going to stay out. But yeah. That's Morpheus, and you know what? I said, man, the table and chair are so worth the price of admission. This is fantabulous. So, just fantastic. We are going to end it here. This is the Fishbone Matrix Morpheus release. And you got to say, for the price point, it is really, really freaking good. Because you're getting a lot bang for your buck. Um, I think finally mag legs with a mag base that started from third party, third party customizers now trickling down to these third party releases this is fantastic i love them i hope they keep coming i hope they just keep making generic bases with uh, magnetic feet because i would love to buy more of them um this chair this diorama is just freaking awesome so anyway it's it's it worked for me, man, and, you know, it, it, uh, yeah, I mean, you can spend way more and get the, uh, go fully custom if you want, but for me, this is more than enough, so I'm very happy with this release. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Don't like, subscribe to my go away, however you want to do it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.